Then we're going to talk about the spiritual mind. Now, but here's what I want to remind you. Listen carefully. Make notes. Whatever you got to do. The carnal mind, and therefore equal a carnally minded person, saved or unsaved, is a person, as we said in the definition, who goes by circumstances. We would even say that a carnally minded person or the carnal mind will always be more guided by what it sees than by what it believes. Okay, remember that. Now, the word carnal comes from the word carne, or actually means of the flesh or fleshly. So a carnally minded person is a flesh minded person. That means that the flesh, both the... Um, when we talk about flesh, we're talking about two things. There is flesh that you can touch, and then there's flesh. Someone says, oh, I just got in the flesh. I just couldn't help it. I got out of the spirit and got right in the flesh. What does that mean? You acted human, carnal, right? So to be carnally minded means to be fleshly minded. It means to let the flesh, either the physical body or, your, or a earthly, soulish, unsaved aspect or emotion, dictate your actions. Now, how does the, the carnal-minded, soulish um, emotions at that point, how would they let that dictate, how, how would they be carnally-minded in letting that flesh part of their nature uh, dictate their actions? How would they do that? Get mad, blow up, say something, act ugly towards somebody? You know, you know, is that right? I mean, that's what they would do, right? You get it out of the spirit and into the flesh means you do something, you know, you let them pull you into an argument and you end up arguing and, you, and when you walk away, you go, ah, you know, because you know you did, you know that's not what you're supposed to do, right? Why? Well, man, you know, I got in the flesh. Okay, that's that part. What is the other part? Letting this dictate. Is that right? So if you let this, how can you let this dictate your mind, your actions? You get sick, your body's sick, this is sick, and you go by what you see. You, in other words, this right here dictates more of your actions than what you see right here. You get that? So a carnally minded person is one that, okay, does this book ever say you're sick? Oh. It never says you're sick. It's, that's right. That's true. Isn't that right? Now, now it says, if anyone is sick. So it can, it can show. But who is the anyone? Brand new believer, young believer, obviously not a spiritually mature person, right? According to James. But this book says, by his stripes, you were healed. Right? So now, this book says you're healed. So what, if this book only says you're healed, what can tell you you're sick? Oh, yeah. That flesh. How do, how do you know when you're sick? Your flesh tells you. Is that right? I mean, come on. If your flesh didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. Right? So your flesh stands up somewhere and says, I don't feel good. Right? And then you have to decide, which is true. Which, which is it? Is this telling me the truth or is that telling me the truth? Now, see, that's what I, now, this could be a fact, but that's the truth. You get that? So what are you going to decide to believe? Because remember, whoever you agree with, if any two shall agree, you're going to have what you agree with. So if you got the Word of God, which is what? What is the Word of God? Truth, okay. But it also tells us that who was the Word of God? Jesus is the Word of God. Is that right? Yeah. So you've got the Word of God, Jesus telling you one thing, and you've got your flesh telling you something else. Now, who are you going to agree with? Jesus. Then you're going to have to agree that you're healed. But what if your body says, I, I know what that says, but I don't feel good. Then what are you going to have to say? Right. There you go. That's right. You say, he, he's not... <clears throat> calling things that are as though they're not. He's calling things that are not as though they are. 
right? That's where people get mixed up. See, they try to go, I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. No, that, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say to call things that are as though they're not. It says to call things that are not as though they are. So you have to be saying what Jesus said. By his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. I was healed. I am healed. Therefore, I'm healed. That's it. Right? Then somebody looks at you and says, what are you doing about that? Oh, it's being dealt with. Oh, what would you do? Well, I'm believing God. Oh, you can't ignore things. I, I said it's dealt with. I didn't say I was ignoring it. Well, you know, they're in denial. Yeah, I'm denying this thing to live in my body. That's right. I am in denying. I'm in denial in that aspect. I'm not denying that it exists. I'm denying it's right to exist in my body. I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it's not real. You know, you ignore sickness, you could die. But I'm just saying, sickness, you don't have the right to live in my body because Jesus said, I'm healed. He said, by his stripes, I'm healed. Now, body, you will align up with the word of God. Anybody says, I don't want you. And you say, okay, well, see, that would be good if you were king. But body, you're not king. Right? There's a reason why the word of God puts the threefold part of man in a particular order. It does not say body, soul, and spirit like we wrote the other day. It says spirit, soul, and body. That's the order. The spirit should be number one in command. Then your soul lines up with it, and then your body comes into alignment. Right? But you're going to have to set yourself to decide, body, I'm a spirit, and in my spirit I'm healed. My soul now is aligned with the Word of God. My mind is being renewed to the Word of God, and so therefore my mind is no longer carnal, and I'm acting in accordance with my spiritual mind, the mind of Christ. So body, you got no options. I do not agree with you. I agree with the word of God. I agree with Jesus. I agree with God. I agree with my spirit. I agree with my soul. I do not agree with you, body. So now, body, that means you will line up. You just, we just read Romans 8. What did it say about the carnal mind? It's an enmity with God. can't be subject to the law of God. What does it say? To be carnally minded is what? To be spiritually minded is what? Now, with that understanding, with that scripture, as clear, is there any vagary about that? <laughs> Vagueness or whatever about that scripture? Okay. Then go right back above, above it on page 33 there. According to that scripture, is it possible for a spiritually minded person, a Christian, to die of sickness or disease? You answer spiritually and not emotionally. Emotionally, usually people go back to your loved one as sweet as they were, that died sick. And they don't want to move out of the emotions and into the spirit, but you chose to agree with the word of God as opposed to the emotions that remembers your loved one that died of whatever sickness or disease. Because the answer is true. According to the word of God, a spiritually minded Christian cannot die of sickness or disease. Get it? A, why? Because a carnal, to be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now, can a spiritually minded person die? Yes. Of sickness and disease? No. 